Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, July the 14th, and happy weekend to all. What I'm going to show you today is um, a quick way to create a scan on the Thinkorswim platform that will give you, um, you know, a, a good set of stocks to trade during the day. Um, so one of the premise behind this methodology is that you're looking for stocks where the close of the current bar is higher than the high of the previous bar on multiple time frames. So it's higher on the monthly basis, it's higher on the weekly basis, it's higher on the daily basis. Um, and to further filter the stocks, we're going to add stocks which have an ATR, which is the average true range, essentially the difference between the high and the low of the stock of at least two. And uh, finally, we'll look for stocks that have a volume of greater than 800,000, but all of these values can be adjusted. And so uh, to do so, we'll um, add a study filter. We'll edit this and uh, we'll look for stocks that have a close higher than the high of the previous bar and the aggregation period is month. We save this. We add another filter which will look exactly the same and uh, close is greater than high one on a weekly basis. We'll add another filter which has the same code but it's looking for stocks on higher on the daily basis. I one and this is daily. We'll leave it as is. We'll add another filter that's going to look for stocks which have an ATR of at least two. ATR is greater than two. And uh, finally, we'll add one more filter that's going to look for stocks which have a volume of at least 800,000. So what I've already cut and paste the code for that. And so essentially what you're looking for is volume, uh, you know, greater than 800,000, you know, based on like 200 day average, right? So you hit OK. And uh, let's start, run a quick scan. So essentially, so to start with, you had about uh, 13,339 stocks. So let's run this scan now. And what you're left with is 21 stocks, right? So just let's save this query, just call this XXX MSP, save. And then we'll go into the watch list here and we'll find those stocks and we can look at the, the charts in each one of them. So one of the things we'll quickly look at is how these stocks are doing. It's each one is doing on a monthly basis. As you can see, the close is higher than the high of the previous bar on the monthly basis and on the weekly basis and similarly on the daily basis here, right? So we, we can do a quick review of a couple of these. And uh, this cyan bar that I have is the, the one that shows the high of the previous day right so so once you exceed you can actually take the trade but it's, as you see there's a, a fair bit of decent stocks that you have that you could have traded some of them obviously didn't work out by Marin being one example but many of these worked out okay in a market which was fairly neutral to um, you know uh, a tad bearish yesterday and um, at least for me you know I would look I mean I look for a um, entry based on some code that I have written that uh, looks for stocks that are trading higher on the Ichimoku cloud in multiple time frames. So this is their, uh, you know, the first time frame is the 15, which is this line, 30 hour and day. And then once all of these are aligned, I get a, a green horizontal dots on the, the top bar. So once that's aligned, plus I look for a, a couple of other variables being true and I get this buy signal. So this would have been, again, I didn't uh, trade all of these yesterday, but uh, you know, this is something just to bear in mind and you can create it very quickly in a matter of minutes and look for stocks that are trading well. So certain, I have some good examples where I actually got the, uh, you know, the buy signal, which was much, much earlier, but you know, this was this would have been a confirmation because I already had a buy, and then on top of that, um, it was trading above yesterday's high. So this is something that could have been traded. Anyway, um, that's uh, a quick way to create a scan. Hopefully, this helps. Thank you, guys.